I want to be a voice of offering my perspective on situations. I don't want to speak for anybody. I don't have the requirement to speak for anybody, but I want to make sure that, you know, if I'm feeling something, I can express that. Richard. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Richard Fortin Presents. We are in Suite 16 studio today. I have with me somebody that loves to rap and his name is Riot. Thank you very is much that, for having oh, me, Richard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for showing up. Hey, I'm happy to be here. And expressing yourself. I, I listened to a bunch of your music over the last couple of days because I knew that you were going to be coming in. Mm. And you're like a super creative guy. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Sometimes I don't even, you change your voice quite a bit when you're, when you're doing your thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, uh, my natural register is sort of up a bit more and with the stuff that I tend to rap about, it's a bit more driving or, you know, a bit more intense. So, you know, I drop it down a little bit, but you know, it's uh, just one of those creative things that I found when first starting off rapping you know, what sounds good over what type of beats that I like to use. So Riot, for people who don't know you, tell them what it is, the type of music that you, how you would self-describe the music you make. Uh, not for everybody. <laughs> uh, it's is, art. Yeah, and uh, I'd say that it more leans to uh, underground, you know, experimental hip hop, if I could put it in okay. that category. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of bass, a lot of faster flows. I typically stick around 140 beats per minute when I create a track. And, uh, you know, I sort of try and work with that. <laughs> Who are your influences? Who are my influences? Um, I like a lot of old school hip hop. Um, you know, I'd have to say that one of my biggest inspirations is Company Flow uh, from New York. Um, they're a group of guys that uh, started off just making stuff they liked, uh, going after each other, trying to raise each other just bar for bar. Um, the most prominent figure from that is probably LP, El Producto from Run the Jewels fame. Mm. And uh, just the way he flows and the technicality and the wordplay, it just really inspires me. And a lot of the sort of electronic production that goes into it is really up my alley. So that's probably one of the biggest ones, uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony, you know, just that rapid fire coming at you, storytelling is just, I love it. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of newer stuff that I like, like sort of more SoundCloud era, like Rob Banks, Ski Mask the Slump God, uh, listen to a bit of XXXTentacion, just sort of that shouting and all that. So um, I'd say that's a couple of them. That's awesome. So, um where do people get on to your music? Uh, probably word of mouth, honestly. I don't advertise myself too heavily. Um, I have an Instagram page and I have all the social media and all that, but you know, I don't really push it too hard because at the end of the day, I make music for me and if somebody else you know, likes it, that's awesome. But um, When did you start making music for you? When did you start not just listening, but creating? March of 2019. Why? Um, I went through a really rough breakup and I was really down in the hole and I just had been contemplating it for a while and you know I found that the best way I could express you know pain that I was feeling or you know any sort of emotion that I had trouble talking about I could put it in music mm. so I started working on that and I released my first tracks on SoundCloud and they're all very rough as most beginners are but I found that the creative process really helped me work through stuff, focus that energy. So what is your creative process? Like what are you working on these days, right now? Uh, right now I'm working on a couple of songs. Uh, one of them is, I think it's called Mentality Flows and it's basically just, you know, a train of thought track where I just rapid fire talk about stuff that was going through my mind during being locked down in COVID. Mm -hmm. And I just really wanted to, you know, focus on, hey, here's the breadth of everything that can race through a mind when it's stagnant. You know, I was trapped in the same room for close to six months, alone in the house. I had no roommates. 
I had some friends next door that, you know, since I was alone, I was comfortable seeing from time to time, but it was a very rough time. So mm -hmm. I just put all of that into that track. What do you want I, to be a voice of for? I want to be a voice of offering my perspective on situations. I don't want to speak for anybody. I don't have the requirement to speak for anybody, but I want to make sure that, you know, if I'm feeling something, I can express that. So, so how do you deal with haters if somebody like judges your music? Uh, I haven't run into one personally, but that's probably because not a lot of people listen to my stuff. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but you know, I'd probably take it in stride. You know, you don't like my stuff. That's fine. You don't have to. You're yeah. Allowed to. It's not a like niche. Something. Yeah. Genre. Or even if it was going for a wider audience, you know, if you don't like it, you don't like it. Cool. Move on. Right. You know, it's art at the end of the day. It's my opinion at the end of the day. If you don't like it, you don't like it. I'm okay with that. Awesome. Thank you so much, Riot, for coming in. Riot the rapper. <laughs> You got to look into the camera right here. You got to tell people where they can find your music and tag up with you. LinkedIn or not it's LinkedIn. It's uh, Instagram. <laughs> yeah. thing. Not LinkedIn. You don't think right you don't think you don't think rappers need jobs. <laughs> find my MySpace. <laughs> LinkedIn. What is going on, Darren? OK, how about you give give the spiel right here in the camera? You can find me on Instagram at Real Riot, R E A L R Y O T, or you can find me as Riot Raps, R Y O T R A P S, on YouTube. You can also find all my stuff on, you know, Apple Music and Spotify if you search up R Y O T. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us and telling us your story. I really appreciate you doing this and like uh, accepting me at my beginners. I know you have a lot more experience doing this than me, but I just want to thank you for my awkwardness and the way you handled it. It was masterful. Well, you thank passed you. the test. Thank you very much. Ladies, oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we just shook on it. You know what to do.